Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. PV equals NRT. PV equals NRT. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. PV equals NRT. PV equals NRT. All right, so Boyle's law came first in the 7th century. He figured out the pressure was relative to V when you're given three variables and the fourth is unknown. You hope Boyle's law will stop you from getting owned. Derived from the kinetic theory in 62, he measured a volume in the standard heat of joules. When he found P was relative to V, he concluded that problems could be solved easily. Uh, gases try to trick me. Boyle stopped that with 1 and 2 V. Good work, Robert Boyle. Damn, he's my man. Solving gas problems and with him I can. Part 1 to the ideal gas law. Took P and V and look what he saw. Solved the fourth of gas laws. What a champ. Now it's Charles' turn. Let's see if he can. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. Gas laws, gas laws. PV equals NRT. PV equals NRT. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. PV equals NRT. PV equals NRT. Next up we got Charles Law, didn't publish his work, but guess what he saw? He kept the pressure constant and increased the temp, the volume increased and he took another step forward into the laws of these things called gas, he figured out what goes on with any given mass, gas is heated at a constant pressure, volume is directly proportional to its temperature, later on came a Brona and got Lusak. he published the work but gave credit back, any other statement would be a lie, first volume and first temp, then you divide. Next, take your final volume and punch it in. Divide by the number you get from final temp. Next, put an equal sign in between. Charles Law is the thing that you've just seen. Congrats, dude, you made it. I hope you don't cry. Numbers from dividing are the same on both sides. Okay, I'm done, Charles Law, that's a wrap. On to the next one, Guy Lucek. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. Gas laws. PV equals NRT. PV equals NRT. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. PV equals NRT. PV equals NRT. Up next on our list is Guy Lussac. Found a gas law and now here are some facts. His discovery was made in 1809. Before Guy Lussac, everyone was blind. Now it has officially been stated, the pressure and temp are actually related. If all other variables are kept the same, then this equation could be the end of all your pain. You got your pressure sensor and thermometer, shooting for the stars like an astronomer. You put your P over T and write it down, wrong numbers in the calculator, you're a clown. Next comes the second test of data points, sick of holding thermometers, rest those joints. Give it to your partner just sitting around, slap him in the face if he makes a sound. Take the new pressure and temperature, write these down and then make sure the number from dividing matches the first round. If it doesn't, you fail, just get out of town. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. PV equals NRT. PV equals NRT. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. PV equals NRT. PV equals NRT. Next is Avogadro. Let's take a look at what he published and printed in books. This law was founded in 1811. Take a break from the science and let's do some spelling. A V O G A D R O. This guy's laws deal with volume in moles. He says that when gas is measured at STP, that's standard pressure and temp for all the dummies. At these conditions, take some measurements. Having fun, this is where the pleasure ends. Measuring two things, those are moles in space. If you get it wrong, I'll slap you in the face. Then add more gas and watch it expand. Take the volume and moles just as we planned. Now we have the data, let's do some calcs. Divide the two numbers and what comes out? This new number is the same as the first. This number's a constant and that's the end of my verse. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. PV equals NRT. PV equals NRT. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. Gas laws, gas laws, gas laws. PV equals NRT. PV equals NRT. Now we got Dalton's law of partial pressure. To find an individual push, you must measure the pressure each gas exerts on the sides. You don't have to account for when they collide. 
Take the moles of one gas and put it over the total You one step closer to being a chemistry mogul Find out how much space the gas takes up This shows you how much of the pressure it makes up Then put your calculated presses together This should equal your total pressure You better make sure your calcs are exact We hope you enjoyed this informative rap